There it is. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Friggin Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we've got these side rails like I showed you in the last video all tacked on. Oh, just so you know, we had a few comments there about, hey, just build a whole new frame for this bad boy. Don't dick around with a rusty old frame, but let me tell you what, it's hard to do that because metal is expensive right now. For, for me to build this whole frame again, I'd be hundreds of dollars. So I'm going to just build her back together like that with some new metals and this and that and the other things. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like this kind of stuff too, why wouldn't you? But there's your answer to some of you saying build a new frame. I wanted to get that off the chest right away. We cut this off last night and we kind of did a little bit of this and that and the other thing in here. So we got to get the rest of this off, which is just all cocked over. So we'll cut all that out and we might try to cut back to about here and join inside this U if we can. It's gonna to be tough, but we're gonna to try to do that because I'd rather join the metal inside where it can weld all around the edges and whatnot and this and that and the other freaking thing, if you know what I'm saying. First thing we're gonna do is get you somewhere where you can freaking see what's really going on. We're gonna, oh, careful, we're gonna hit you up on the old Kartorewski here so I can try to get you on the angle of the dangle. I did have something come in today that I wanna give you a sneak peek of. That looks like an air shock, it does. So stay tuned for that, that's coming up. I had a mount fall off the back here the other day, so this thing's already kind of half slammed as it is. Let's get the grinder in here and see if we can't get this old rotten piece out of there. You in? Okay. You know there's a lot of rust when it doesn't spark. That, uh, that's gonna be tough to get out of there, it is. Stand right in front of you, aren't I? How am I gonna do this and not get my camera all cocked over? For frig sakes. Try that. got part of it out of there we did now we gotta get the rest out of there and that's gonna be one hell of a gap to weld up but hey it is what it is wow i'll be dipped as derek would say that sounds good something's happening maybe oh i don't want to try let's try it the friggin do dad hey you know what i'm talking about the thing with bobber you know that thing hold on i'll be right there you don't see what i'm talking about Right here, I bought some steel carbide bits for this. Let's see if it works. Hold on. Aw, oh, dick. Let's do this angle of the dangle. Aw, oh, dick, tires in the way. Different angles of the dangles, eh? I'm gonna say, not very good. Scratch that idea. We are getting somewhere. Hello? Bit change, again. So just so you know, these these grinding discs, it probably works out. You're not saving much money by buying 50. Maybe, I don't know. Sounds like the old battery's going dead though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Glad I bought 100 freaking batteries. Careful! Holy, what happened? This is the most well I've seen on this cart yet. Hey, we're getting there, Captain. Can you see that? Look at it. Oh, we're getting there, man. I can't rush a good thing. My face. Let's get out the deep grinding wheel and we'll just get her. That was a little bit of a workout, but we got her off. See, now we can actually take that and bring it up and weld it to that. And as you can see, this is still pretty thick here, so we can get away with that. It's a little, you know, deckered, but we can back that up with a doodad or not. So now all we gotta do is cut this weld, this weld, and then cut halfway through this tube, and then we can extend that through. There's no point in stopping now. Let's get this part done tonight, or just about done tonight. This is gonna be tough. Well, it's definitely cutting, so that's impressive. That works real good. Well, I'll be fucking dipped. 
How am I going to get in there, though? That's the next question. that back up. Just a little piece at the end holding on. There it is. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure a piece and cut a piece. So we want 18 and a half. Captain, so we'll take a piece of this and we'll cut our 18 and a half. We will. You believe this? Probably. Oh, I think I might have shit myself, Captain. What do you say? 18 and a half. Can't get any better than that. So now this should slide right into here and become one with the gods. Gotta bang this down, we got a little bit of a bump there we gotta get out. There we go, perfect and friggin' perfect. Yes, we did. So now that that's in there, we can tack it and then we'll start welding it. So as you can see, there's never just one tool to do a job. It takes multiple tools. Look at this tool. If I can do it, you can do it. Bring it right again. So, what we're gonna need is, we're gonna need this, we're gonna need the old ground ruski, and we're gonna need to give it a little magnetization. There we go. And uh, and let's check the tip. Tip's not bad. We should be all right. Yep. Give her a tack right here. Perfect. Tack up here. There we go. So that's tack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed it a little bit more wire. We'll see if we can hone her in down here. There we go. Look at that well in there, boys and girls, peoples. Oh yeah. The wire's slipping. So now the well's gonna act up, is it? Oh god. Well, we're gonna have to figure out what the hell's going on with the well or something. All right. Well, I had a dirty tip I did, so I changed the tip. And we're able to get a little bit of welding done. So I end up welding on this side, this side, in here, this side, this side, and in there. And it turned out pretty damn good, it did, if I could say so my freaking self. If I could find myself a chip and hammer, because I use a core, core welder. See, that's not too bad. Jeez, look at that. Oh, I got a tool I got to show you before we head this video here. Pick this up. It's called a doodadder. I don't know what it's called, actually. It's, it's got, like, these little needle things. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before. But say you have, like, slag and stuff on your thing from welding, you get a hold of this bitch. And it cleans the weld right up. Maybe we're taking big, chunky rust stuff is what it's made for. But I'm telling you right now, it works good for cleaning up your wells too. To make it look decent. Show you here, let me give it a little blow job. There we go. Let me grab a light. You're gonna love this. Where the f is all my lights? When we have 600 f***ing snap on lights, I can't find one of them, figure that out. Here's one. I can never figure out how to turn this one on. Well, there we go. Check that out. Look how good that thing cleans all the slag off the welds. Hey? I put a little too much uh, weld on that one, but hey, whatever. But there you go, it beat up my welds a little bit. And they're not great welds, right? but they're good enough welds. So we'll roll the cart over, do that side, that side, and then we'll start on that one down there. But other than that, I took my little zzz to that and it shook off a lot of the old rust. I have one support there we're gonna replace. But other than that, she's not too bad in the middle. And of course, with this new metal on here, once I get it all welded in, it's gonna be good. But that definitely strengthened that back up. So there you go. So anyways, that's gonna end this video today. I was able to get that welded in and it looks pretty good. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you did. So anyways, now that she's done gabbing, we got pretty far today. We were able to get that frame in. Every video, we're getting further and further on this thing, and this frame is gonna be solid in no time. Like I said, we'll get into the back here and the airbagging part of it here shortly, as soon as we get this refabricated. So, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. I'm glad you're all here. Leave me any comments down below if you wanna know something or if I did something wrong and tell me, why wouldn't you? Because I always do something wrong. That's just the way I work. Love you all. Hopefully you're having a good day like I am. And until the next one, 
you know what to do for now.